D'Agostino. Uh, talk us through the match that final takedown. Yeah, I just knew I had more in the tank than he did, so I just went after it. When did you start to feel that? When did that shift? Um, I mean, kind of right away. He didn't do much from the start, but I just had to stay on my offense, keep attacking, over them up. What were the challenges he was presenting? Um, he was kind of like sitting back, kind of waiting for something to slip. And I knew I was going to come, so I was ready for it. You made it look like you made a decision to try to ride hard in the third period. Yeah. You're in that seatbelt position. I know you're a pinnacle guy, so I know you're super comfortable in there. And yeah. then he gets away. And so then what are you like, I'm going to drag this into overtime? Or are you trying to, I mean, is it a cardio decision there? Or what's your thought process? No, I mean, I'm always looking to score, and that's when I'm at my best. So he got away, and I was like, well. Now I gotta go get my takedown. Can't ride him out for the win, but I can go get my takedown, try to steal it. I'm sure you've been dreaming about coming to this tournament your whole life. What, what, what's it been like first time here? Oh, it's great. It's, it's a cool experience, and I'm glad I was here last weekend for, or two weeks ago for Big 12. Get a little feel for it, but still a little nerve wracking coming in. I've been watching this tournament since I was like three years old, so it's exciting. Great job, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, George.